Hello, everybody. Oh, hello. Today, today we are going to be doing a deck profile video. Uh, but the battle that you're going to see this in, like if you want to see the deck in action, um, you're going to have to actually head over to a friend of mine's channel, Poke Jesse, Pokey Jesse. Uh, he is an, I believe, Australian. Please don't be New Zealand. I'm pretty sure he's Australian. Uh, Australian uh, YouTuber and player. Um, I did a video with him at, with Darkness Ablaze a while back. Uh, but he reached out to me. He was like, hey, do you want to do another video together? And I was like, yeah, I'm down. So this matchup is going to be between my deck, which is Dragapult Bennett, which uh, it's pretty good, against his build of Colossal VMAX. So I know Colossal is one of those decks that it's like, ah, what's the right build for it? So maybe you'll get some inspiration from his list as well. So I'm going to link in the description uh, so you can watch this deck in action against a Big boy deck like Colossal, which I think Dragapult might struggle against a Colossal deck because it just can absorb so much damage and heal so much damage. It's very difficult. Um, but yeah, I'm going to link that down there in the description. Check it out um, and you'll see all the matches. We chat during the matches, which is very cool. So, But before we do that, I want to give a shout out to Channel Pokemon uh, for sponsoring this channel and uh, all the budget deck videos that I do for them every week. Uh, when this is coming out, I have a budget deck video coming out tomorrow, um, and it is a fun one. Uh, I will give you a teaser. It is Fortress. I know that Tricky Jim just did a Fortress. This is a very different Fortress build. Uh, so if you like Fortress and uh, you don't want to spend a lot of money on Amazing Rare Jirachi, I don't know, maybe this is the budget version for you. Anyways. Um, shout out to them. Use code Gyroshan at checkout for whatever you get there, including the membership supports the channel. Links to all that in the description. All right. Uh, yeah, this is the deck profile, right? It's going to be somewhat familiar if you are a Dragapult player. There might be some cards in here that you're like, wait a minute. I don't think this is in Dragapult. And, and me might be right. I don't know. I haven't been a Dragapult stan forever. So I have built what I thought would work. And it worked well enough. It, it worked. So, uh, but... The main crux of this um, is you obviously have your main attacker, Dragapult. Um, you probably know what it does, but in case you don't, the VMAX, for one energy, there's Shred, which does 60, and you ignore all effects. Useful in certain matchups, whether that's Decidueye, um, Altaria, or that amazing rare Zamazenta that you know, may, may be floating around a bit. Also, you have the main attack, Max Phantom. You do 130, and then you put five damage counters on your opponent's bench in any way that you like. So. This allows you to sort of build up damage around the board in ways that you think might be helpful later in the game to help you steal some extra prizes. Um, and the 130 is not nothing, right? So we combine this attack and the fact that you are kind of beefy at 320 with Bennett. So Bennett has Curse of Devolution. Uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve it during your turn, you may devolve one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So, you know, if you're familiar with things like Zacian and Bennett, which I know that uh, the Slowpoke well did recently, uh, that's a really good deck because 230 is more than what most Pokemon Vs are going to have as their base. So if you do a couple of attacks with Dragapult, you can build up that damage, get in the same position while spreading damage counters around. And then you can move it to the bench with either Boss's Order or Fion is probably the better option. Uh, put it on the bench, devolve it, take two prizes before you even attack, attack into whatever they sent up, put more damage. It's, it can get pretty crazy. Um, so I will say, I don't, I don't know if I really got a chance to use Bennett in these matchups, just, um, play around with it. I will say it straight up. It is very situational. Uh, I call this a Dragapult Bennett list, but it runs more like Dragapult and Bennett is sort of that that threat on the bench that your opponent kind of does have to take seriously. And it's nice to have multiple threats with Dragapult because before your only threat was Dragapult, right? So, um, so that's the Bennett. We have a two, two line of that. As I said, we have one Fion. That's all you need. Um, outside of that, we have one of the Giratina to disrupt special energies. Uh, we have two of the new amazing rare Jirachis. Uh, this is just, you know, a little bit of consistency, a little bit of draw. Um, you know, it's if you, if you get into it, great. It's a pivot Pokemon. Other than that, don't don't stress too much. Um, and then we have a two-one line. 
of Lycanroc GX. Now Lycanroc GX has the ability, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve it, you may discard an energy attached to your opponent's active. So you got Giratina for your opponent's active special, you have Lycanroc for any type of energy, but you know, basic energy is probably what you want to get rid of with that. Um, and then uh, we have, in terms of other Pokemon, we have one Dedenne and one Crobat for consistency. You know, a few new cards here and there, but, uh, you know, a lot of energy disruption and then some trickery with Binette. Now, you could play more Rockruff and Lycanroc, but I I don't I I don't think it's necessary. If you want to go hardcore into energy disruption, you're not going to have space for Binette. So I'm trying to, you know, give you the best of both worlds as best I can. Okay, into the trainers. We have four Quick Balls, pretty standard. Four Pokemon Communications, which is good to find Binette and Lycanroc and Dragapult VMAX. Two Incense, because we do have three Stage 1s in this deck, so even more Pokemon Search. Um, and then uh, we have three Devolution Spray Zs, which will be used on the Lycanroc. That's what you want to use it on. Um, so you can evolve, discard that energy. If you can on that same turn or later in the game, use this card to devolve it, put it back in the deck. It's not a two prizer sitting on your bench that does nothing now. And it allows you to reuse Lycanroc. You can use its ability with this combo maximum four times in a game. So four energy disruptions there, four with Giratina maximum with the scoop up net uh, and two Binets, you know, in some combination, the Giratina and Binet, right? Six total. Um, so outside of all that, we have, like I said, four scoop up nets. We're maxing that out uh, for both Binet and Giratina. One reset stamp, because stamp is always good. And then in terms of supporters, we have four research, four Marnie, two boss. That's pretty standard. Outside of that, we do have two U-turn boards, which is great for that amazing rare Jirachi. Dragapult also only has one retreat, so useful there too. Um, and then in terms of the energy count, we got one Aurora. The Aurora can be used anywhere technically, but really it's for this Lycanroc Splintered Charge GX. 30 for each energy in your opponent's discard. So particularly if you're up against Picarum or Eternatus, that's when you want to use this. So if they have, say, five energy in their discard, you're doing 150 with weakness, that's 300. If you've spread damage against Eternatus and put four, that's 340. That's all you need. So uh, that's that's pretty useful there. Um, and then we have four horror energies. Again, more damage spread uh, and six basic psychic energies. Um, outside of that, uh, you know, there's some things you could play around with here. I don't have any stadiums. If you wanted to find space for a stadium, you could probably cut, I mean, a one of reset stamp always feels like, is it really that useful? So you could cut a reset stamp. Um, yeah, that's probably what I would cut. Uh, finding space for maybe a power plant. Oh no, you don't want a power plant, JK. Chaotic Swell or Viridian Forest maybe. Um, but that is the deck. So yeah, like I said, go over to Pokey Jesse's channel linked in the description at the very, it's, it'll be the top link. Um, go check out the video. Uh, that should be, I think I'm going to link the video directly. So you should just be able to go watch it. Uh, you know, say hi in the comments over there. Be, be kind, say hi, all that jazz. Uh, and let me know what you think about this deck, but that's going to do it for this video. And I will catch you in a future one. Carpe awesome.